Well, the first week of July is bringing the heat to eastern North Carolina this year, which has some families getting creative to stay cool heading into the 4th of July holiday. Alyssa Hefner spoke to families in ENC today about their Independence Day plans and the ECU Emergency Department professor about the importance of staying cool. She joins us live from Greenville with more. Alyssa. Today when I spoke with families, many said they plan to celebrate the 4th of July with fireworks while also trying to stay cool. So they're going to incorporate some kind of pool or sprinkler into their 4th of July day celebration. Well, for the 4th, you know, I have little kids, a 4-year-old and 2-year-old, and so we're going to be staying close to home this year, probably just hanging out in the backyard, hopefully staying cool with maybe a little kiddie pool for them, and then, uh, you know, cooking out, just trying to enjoy some family time. 4th of July celebrations this year may look a little different as families work to stay cool from an ongoing heat advisory. we got to love the southern heat. Uh, I think we're all feeling it, so we're just going to sit in some water <laughs> and have some cocktails and see if that takes it away. <laughs> According to WITN's first alert weather team, temperatures in the region remain in the low to middle 90s. But to many eastern Carolinians, it feels hotter. That's because with humidity added, the heat index or feels like temperature is closer to 110 degrees in some areas. An emergency department professor at East Carolina University says that this kind of heat can be dangerous and urges people to be aware of warning signs. You can feel kind of your muscles aching, uh, cramping. It can then progress to heat exhaustion where you feel very tired, very fatigued. You may feel lightheaded, um, dizzy. You may have a headache. Um, you may have um, heavy sweating and kind of cold and pale and clammy skin. Rochelle Asagra says that you don't need to be in the direct sunlight to develop a heat related illness. She recommends having a space for people to move inside frequently and to drink at least 12 ounces of water per hour if you're outside. Asagra says the 4th of July holiday is typically a dangerous time for heat related illnesses. The 4th of July is always a fun time and it's known as an outdoor holiday. And of course, it's during the hottest period of the year. Um, so yes, that does increase the risk for more heat related illness. Um, every year around this time, we just see more and more emergency department visits for heat related illness. The ECU professor also told me that if families want to stay as safe as possible, avoid their celebrations from the hottest hours of the day, which are from 12 until 5 to 6 p.m. Reporting live in Greenville, Alyssa Hafner, WITN News. All right, thanks, Alyssa.